have to start over. All right, so we do have about 90 miles to go. We're gonna go ahead and head to San Simmons. And there's a rest area there right past it. That's where we're gonna overnight and then move on to Las Cruces. So, yeah, let's get on the road. ridiculously strong here oh my god look at that it's like blowing really hard anyways um, if you're interested in the video with the uh, thing in it just hit the link above and it should take you there scary pigeon it's not scary to you it's like feed me <laughs> look at it look at it. it's red eye don't scare the pigeon they're not doing nothing to you look at it it's creepy though creepy pigeon what are you supposed to be vampire Oh, vampire. Oh my god, they've got so much stuff in here. Stuff, stuff, and more stuff. Oh, little Asian people. More little Asian people. What would what'd you say? Is that wrong with her hair? No, she's like um, Princess Leia. <laughs> it's an Asian Princess Leia. Oh my gosh. Yeah, because the Are they moved museum's it? closed. Oh. Where's the snake? Oh, they're remodeling? Yeah, I guess they're having a large museum. Yeah, that's it. Looks like it. Wow, so it's free now. That's well, cool. until they get the museum reopened, right. they're that's like cool. going to make it bigger and better. Awesome. Oh, well, that was a little disappointing, but yeah, the thing is in the corner, so it's free for all to see right now, but that's pretty cool. The what was bear, it? The bear's holding a sign saying go away. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's too funny. All new museum coming soon. Well that was kind of uneventful. Dang remodel. I hope you do go check out the other video. It was a lot better back then. So anyways it's time to get back on the road and get to our next destination where we'll be sleeping at tonight. Since we're here at the rest area and there's not much to do, I decided I'm going to go ahead and install this night and day shade vent cover. I'm excited about it. It's a real simple install. All I have is four that are holding on this molding and then there's a screen in there that have two bolts and then, and then one bolt holding on this knob. And there it goes, the four screws and it's up. It's awesome. It has this vent cover. Doop. That's awesome. I love that. Um, the screen right here stays in. Like I said, there's two bolts holding in this. It was dirty, so I went ahead and cleaned this, washed it in my tub and everything, and it was a hot mess. So, yep, I cleaned that up real quick before reinstalling that, and then I installed this, and it looks real good. I'm really pleased with that. Definitely an update. Yay, that project done. 
I was going to toss this out, but I remember Dana saying that she has one and hers has a crack in it. So I'm going to give this to her to use and then she could just spray it white and then she'll have one that's not cracked. I bought two of these cup holders and I was planning on replacing this one because um, this arm right here is broken in half, but it still works and it holds my cup like it's supposed to. So. Instead of throwing it away, I think I'll just leave that where it is. I put one right here on the nightstand right by my bed because I'm always spilling drinks. So this way it should prevent me from spilling any drinks. And I'll have a drink holder right by my bed. This does leave me with one more. I'm not sure where I want to install it yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. This is what it looks like open and it does come with two double-sided tape pieces that I can use also with some screws. It's weird, it only comes with two small screws. It has six holes, so that's kind of mm, silly. I'm not really worried about it though because I do have plenty of screws. I don't have one by my table. I can always put it on the table, but as you can see, it gets full sometimes. So I installed it right here. It's pretty convenient. This folds up. Good to go. Yes, I know. I'm a slacker. I still have to unbox my juicer. I'll get around to it though. <laughs> so the next thing I need to install is this Vortex fan. Obviously to replace this fan, like I said in a previous video, this fan no longer works. So I'm just going to replace it. Someone said that the Vortex fan was loud and not really well, but I'm only going to use it when I'm in the shower, so it doesn't really matter if it's loud. It'll do its purpose. This one seems pretty simple too, other than the wiring. It is the four screws, then the two screws that hold on the screen and the fan area, and then I just have to wire it together. Then also this little bracket, and that's it. The other one pops on. Seems fairly simple. This is what the fan looks like outside of the box. And this is the inside part. And this is what faces outwards. They have the bags and everything, all the mounting things, screws. Cool. So it doesn't look complicated because you know it's, it's DC. So there's a negative and positive, the black and then the white. So this should be a pretty easy install. One screw. All right, I have the molding out. Now to take the fan out. Look at all the debris in there. <laughs> it's a mess. I needed to take this thing down anyways. Um, see that, which is a switch. I need to take that out as well that I forgot about. So yeah, I need to dismantle that and remove the screen. Here's the old screen. I won't need that anymore because this replaces the old screen. I just have to remove the old fan and get it out of the way and the switch as well. All right, I'm going to have to put this on pause because I don't have the connectors. It comes with these kind of connectors right here. See these? But I actually want to get the right DC connectors so that we won't have to worry about it coming apart. Those are the connectors that I want to get and I just ran out of these. So I'm going to grab some more of these and then I will... Since I'm at a rest area that's not going to work, <laughs> there's no Home Depot where I can go or Walmart where I can go grab these real quick. So I'll just get to this tomorrow when we get into town. And the fan is, I took the screw out, but for some reason this is really complicated to get off. It's not, it's not wanting to budge. You see it's turning the thing and the switch is also harder to get off. So I'm going to work on that for a little bit and see if I can get it off and then I will install everything probably in the next video. And hopefully I'll get to this as well because I do want to start juicing right away. Definitely. Um, Dana and Steve did not need this part. They said that's not the part that was cracked. It was a screen that goes on the inside which was right here. This is replacing that screen. So I went ahead and gave them that screen and helped them install it. Actually Steve installed it and got it all fixed. That way there is no more crack. It's new. I'm really glad there's a dumpster here because I have a few boxes and the extra parts to get rid of. I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me today and hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Mwah.